Yo soy de mente, yo soy de menta. Yo soy que tengo la luz aquí. Tú eres un hombre falso, no eres lo que aparenta. Oh. <risa> ok, ya está bien, entonces. A ver, arregla tu motor. A ver, oh. es, es, es. Ven a arreglarlo tú, coño. Acho, papi, te vas a poner así conmigo. Acho, pero fue un chiste. <laughs> what the fuck? I like how I could capture both of you guys doing this shit at the same time with the camera. Mr. Wide Angle, man. I got one. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's He said, Oh, that's good. That's what they feel like, nigga. It's so fucking hard. He said, Dad. I got the other one. Carburetor off. Oh. Alright, alright, we need another effect. Oh. What the heart? <laughs> that looks like a heart. Man, we got the heart. Oh, the heart reasons. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 this shit keep your bike going, Kevin. Okay? Well, it don't matter. Because now I'm going to clean a carburetor. And the whole caption going to be how to clean a YZ250 carburetor. But the whole time we talking shit. But it's a good caption. I'll teach you a little something about cleaning a carburetor. The loose style. Mm -hmm. Sink, nigga. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, get yourself a net so you don't lose your motherfucking soul through there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second, you're going to need some motherfucking brake cleaner because these shits is nice and motherfucking greasy and brake clean is going to get all the grease off of this shit. Second, you're going to need some carb slash choke cleaner. This is for your jets and your carburetor. All right, so let's start off by, um, you can obviously see this carburetor leaking out. This fuel, very contaminated fuel. This fuel is orange because it has uh, two-stroke oil in it, but you can see how much two-stroke oil in it. it almost looks like the fuel mix was too high. Um, start off with a slight spray down with the the reason I clean the exterior of the carburetor first is so that when I get into it I'm not worried about the nasty gunky stuff from the outside getting into the carburetor so I always clean the exterior first before I go into the interior so grab your brake clean and spray the shit out of the exterior of your carburetor Give it a shower. Just give it a quick shower. Don't be worried about the brake clean. Don't be a cheap bastard. <laughs> if you're cheap, it's not for you. All right. Next, we need a screwdriver. I'll be back. Screwdriver right here. Yo, y'all should come. Oh, matter of fact, y'all can watch this video on how to clean cars. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It's the it's the it's the nigga way explained, so you gonna understand it. I apologize if anyone's offended, but I don't give a fuck. We all niggas anyway. <laughs> all right, so these these screws is kind of tight, so we're gonna try to a little bit of pressure on it, cause you don't want to strip these screws. You might even have to find like a tiny flathead. But you do not want to strip these screws. You're gonna put a lot of pressure on them. No, these are, these shits are fucking soaked in oil. How convenient. How convenient. Not very convenient at all. <laughs> <coughs> all right, let me see. Yeah, if the viewers are wondering, yes, everybody in here has coronavirus. That's not a joke. <laughs> All right. Oh, if I keep doing that, I'm going to strip the bolt. We have to go for a very small flathead. Oh, my God. Did you commit an oopsie? No, this carburetor doesn't want to budge. What the fuck? What do you mean? Come do it yourself. That's what I mean, nigga. This shit don't want to budge right now. Fuck. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's good news. That's one out of four. 
One screw out of four fucking rusty, dusty ass screws. Oily, rusty, dusty screws. Let me see, bro. That's two. Two oily, rusty, dusty screws. Yo, you look like you're doing surgery right now, Lou. What the hell? That's three. Rusty, dusty screws. Put some yeah. pressure in that bitch, bro. Yeah, I know that I have to get the tiny screwdriver. You look, look at what's in your screws. That shit is nasty as fuck in there. Are they flathead screws or what? Nah, it's not. But that's the only one I could get. The other ones were going to strip it. Yeah. I was going to strip it eventually. Oh, so you got to open it from right there? You need to open the flow bowl. The flow bowl, all the gas comes in. Goes straight to the bottom in the flow bowl. The flow bowl has then your main jet and your pilot jet. And then that's what the two things that is. The pilot jet is going to have your bike idling. The main jet is going to let your bike yeah, get yeah, this was all oil and gas. This like two stroke mix all in there, everything. Because the carburetor had gas in it, so. And we knocked some uh we knocked some oil off of it with some brake clean. So now the next step is open up the float bowl. Once we open up the float bowl, it's gonna be very simple. You're only gonna see two very main things that you're gonna be looking for. It's gonna be the main jet and the pilot jet. Get in there. Clean the main jet, clean the pilot jet, and we clean the rest of it around it. Make sure that the flow bowl doesn't have any gunk in it. And then um, we throw this thing back together. It's all pretty simple. It really only takes like an hour or two to get the whole bike apart and then do this. And then, you know, it's maintenance though. You need to do it. You know what I'm saying? You real dirt bike nigga, you know how to do it. So this right here is your float. Sometimes you need to check the float needle. So if the bike, for example, is um is idling trash or something, um, or it's spitting gas out of the fucking overflow bowl, then you need to check your float needle. And your float needle is your float needle is right there under this. So there's that it's actually right in between there. That's the float needle. And it allows this float to come down and stop bringing gas into the float bowl. We're not gonna mess with any of that. Right now, we're only looking for the main jet, which is down here, and this seems to be the pilot jet. Yep. One more, you know. Yeah. Okay. Going for the main jet right here. Main jet. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the pilot jet, but I need some pliers to hold on to this. Can you hold me with some pliers? You got some pliers. more pliers? Um the little the little um the big crocodile shits that you call them or whatever. I'll go get that. Here, look at the carburetor. Crocodile pliers. This is probably not the best pliers for this, honestly. Sorry, Dad. I never gave you a tool bag. Fuck this, man. Anyways. Oh, and be like that. <laughs> My bad. I said it I for tried. you. I said it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to try to take this one out, which is being very much um, stubborn right now, if I had to say. I can't use another word. This is being very stubborn right now. This should come out really easily, and it's not trying to come out very easily, so. Damn, now everyone's gonna get a speed on me. No, fuck. Yeah, everybody's gonna get a speed on I'm getting a speed on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this jet out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray right through it. So you can see right through there, that's where the needle, you see the light right through the center of that? That's where the needle falls in. I like that angle. Mm -hmm. And the needle is going to allow it. This is where we took the main jet out of this top one. This is where the needle lands. And this is what I think is the pilot jet, which is giving me hella trouble to get out. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, spray it in there. Got this little hose, so it's kinda gonna allow me to just get up in there a little bit. I always recommend watch your eyes when you're doing this shit cause this stuff backfires crazy. It's a lot of pressure inside. Viewers, cover your eyes. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure inside of this. So it just shoots out crazy. Always throw some carb cleaner between every other one. You want to pretty much try to get it as clean as you can. Even though it didn't seem too bad. This bike needed that. <laughs> it really did. It needed that. Um, this is the main jet. This is... So if you almost, let me see. Oh my Jesus! This shit's dirty. As you bitch, can't bro. see a motherfucking thing through here. Nah, we gotta, we gotta get a, a first person. Yo, you can't see a thing through this thing. That's crazy. <laughs> you that can't see dark. nothing through this main jet. It's dark. To, look, look through it. You can't see wow. no light through there, bro. So sure. Okay. I'm done cleaning it. You can see right light through here. You can kind of see it through the side of it. You see it? Yeah. I couldn't take off the pilot. That's, that's the main jet? Yeah, I couldn't take out the pilot jet. This one right here. I was trying to take it out like really bad. I tried with this, but I can't take it out to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't want to struggle anymore with it. I think it's just a better idea to leave it in there since the bike didn't have really much a problem idling. It was more like getting yeah. started and all that shit. So that was the problem? Or one of the problems? Yeah. Yeah, who would have thought some a little thing like that? Mm -hmm. Fuck up a whole entire bike. A whole entire bike. <laughs> no bullshit. You're that shit was really not trying to do anything. You're not riding. <laughs> you're not riding. Watch, we're gonna be able to see light through this when I'm done. Ooh. Tell your eyes, though. I know. I know. I told my viewers be careful, so they know what I'm talking about. They're probably covering their eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look through it now. Yeah. Let me see. See the light? A little bit. Yeah. It should. It's not. It's. It's. Trust me. You're not looking for a lot. You just need light through there. Yeah. You couldn't see anything before. Now you see that little peak. The, the pinhole, nigga. That little peak right there. That's all you need to motherfucking get you some gas. <laughs> Remember, we got that GoPro used on eBay. Oh, seriously? Ah, I bought that GoPro for two fifty on eBay. That's the GoPro Hero Seven. Got it for two fifty on eBay. What a good deal! The best deal. Yeah, they were like worth like three fifty or four hundred dollars or something. I was like, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, hey, that's the Hero price. Hero Seven Black for two fifty. A lot of games. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty. Uh, how do I call it? It's pretty uh, convincing. <laughs> convincing price right there all right so now that you're done cleaning the jets we're gonna check the float bowl float bowl seems pretty clean so, no better pressure in there. make sure you get everything out all the nasty shit so the point of cleaning the carb honestly i mean the way to clean your carb honestly is to open it up Take everything apart and just clean it thoroughly on like guys, no shortcuts. Yeah, don't be lazy. Yeah, don't be lazy. Take your time with it. And if you can't take something out like I did. Improvise. Yeah, improvise. And it's okay if you can't take it out. You know what I'm saying? Put it back on the bike. See if the bike runs. And if it doesn't run how you want it to run, then take it back off again. You know what I'm saying? Don't be lazy. You need to take care of your bikes for them to run good. Mm -hmm. That's it in my mouth. All right. So now I'm gonna start putting this thing together. Uh, first, I'm gonna look for the main jet. I have no idea where I put it. There it is. Main jet. And if you see now, I don't know if you, the viewers could have saw it before, but there's clearly light right through there. Cool, you can't see shit. You can't see it, but you want to make sure there's light through all these little holes. 
and light right through the center. Very important. Yeah. That's how you know it's clean, honestly. And then when you're putting it together, you want to clean your hands. You don't want to be putting it together with your dusty ass hands that you just cleaned this dusty ass card with. <laughs> That's how I talk, man. YouTube not gonna monetize me. Fuck it. I don't need YouTube money, nigga. Mm -hmm. I get it, it must. It, it would be nice, no bullshit. I get money off fixing shit. I get money off real life shit. YouTube is real life, but guess what? Fuck you if you didn't pay me, bitch. I'm here to hear from you. Heard it here first. If you ain't pay me, then fuck you. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I love everybody, man. Even you YouTube guys. All you YouTube guys that inspired me to even be on YouTube. All my friends that want to get on YouTube, I recommend getting on YouTube. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. It's very nice to remember shit. I mean, not remember shit. And then go on YouTube and see what you did. And then remember it again. And then remember it. Now that we took the carburetor off. We cleaned up the pilot jet. We cleaned up the main jet. The um the float bowl didn't look not nasty or gunky or anything. So that's pretty much. Whoa. Uh, let's skip the whole part where I missed the pilot jet. Anyways, we got the pilot jet now. We're gonna car clean the fuck out of this. You see that? Just put the holes right there. Running right through there. You see how that motherfucker purring right through there? And we're going to leave a little bit of carb clean. I need to clean my son's carburetor for his CRF-50. You can see light right through this jet. You can see right through this jet. I know you can see through this one. It's a lot bigger. Way bigger opening. Yeah, I see that. All right. So if the viewers didn't see it, then fuck y'all. Y'all didn't pay me anyway. All right. All right, let's go. Back to cleaning this carb. So now we screw the jet in, hand tight, nice and snug, hand tight, boom. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I almost completely missed that. I almost completely missed putting in the pilot jet. That bike would have ran like shit. <laughs> that bike would have been pissing gas for the next five days until it completely leaked out. All right. So this line, I think it went to here. This little setup they got here. Oh, that's just strong. Yep, car cleaner strong. Oh shit. Brake cleaner strong. All this shit is very strong. I mean, it's made to remove like gunk and. Very, very dirty. Yeah, very dirty stuff. That's what I was about to say. Like, this stuff gets very nasty and gooey, and, and you know, it needs to be strong to actually be effective. So, I almost guarantee Flacco's bike is gonna be running so mint after this. It's crazy. He wouldn't recognize the bike. He wouldn't that. recognize. It. He'd be like, what the fuck? My shit turns on. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the memes are strong as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck did? Off the train track, niggas trying to go work, cuz up. All right, so we're tightening up these screws. You don't have to go too super crazy. The carburetor screws, honestly. It should just be nice and smooth. Carburetor is not gonna fucking take any impacts that are coming. And it's for it to be necessary to tighten that shit to your maximum strength. You just want to put snug all the screws on your carburetor. Wipe your carburetor down, you nasty, lazy motherfuckers. <laughs> you guys love me, and if you don't love me, then fuck you too. Alright, I love you. I love you. I 
even if you don't love me. All right, let's go put this carburetor back on the YZ250. Thank you for watching my carburetor clean video. Yo, just did a car clean on the YZ250. That's right, man. About to see what's up. Let's just start up. First kick. Wow, you boys.